Yeah. That's how spring games are sometimes. Right. You got some younger guys in there that don't have a lot of reps, and you want to get them in the game so the older guys don't have to play too much. But overall, I think it's pretty sloppy. How do you feel coming out of camp now, coming out of spring? I think this was the best off season that I've had since I've been here, including last fall, last spring, all of it. I think <laughs> I took a big, big step this spring. Joe, you said after the, the bowl game you'd have a decision to make. I mean, is it still, you're just waiting to hear, or where's your head right now, I guess? Um, well, now some decisions have to be made. Uh, you got to step back and evaluate the, everything. You got to meet with your coaches and, and see what everything, uh, what they're thinking, what you're thinking, and you have to kind of be in the middle. You came here to play. Do you think you've done enough to be the starter? I think this this spring I played just about as well as I could. I put everything I had into it and had decisions for the coaches. Are you, leaning, one, are you leaning more one way or the other based on the spring? Um, as I said, I just have to meet with my coaches and see, see what they're thinking and kind of be in the middle. Joe, so is this part more stressful now when you go in the next couple of days and you know that at some point you have to make up your mind? More stressful maybe than playing, or how would you compare those two situations? No, I would say it's very a lot less stressful than actually being in the competition. Now you can just kind of sit back and relax. You know uh, the body of work that you had, and I know I played very well, and I, I took a big step as a leader this spring as well, so I kind of just sit back and see how it plays out. Do you think you have to hear something in particular in the next couple of days to make up your mind? Um, no, I don't think so. I think we just have to kind of have a conversation together and um, that'll be with Coach Meyer, Coach Wilson, Coach Day, and kind of see how it goes. Have you ruled anything out at this point or is everything on the table? Uh, I would say just about everything's on the table right now. It's hard to deal with hypotheticals, but if they say, look, it's still too close to call, we're going to go to training camp, you and Dwayne and, and maybe even Tate, it's too close to call. How would you assess that or view that? I would have to have conversations with my family and still my coaches and my friends that I'm close to and I have to make a decision. Do you feel like you have to be the star to stay? Um, well, I came here to play. I didn't come here to sit on the bench for four years. Um, and I know I'm a pretty darn good quarterback. Uh, and I, I want to play somewhere. Have coaches talked to you about the intangible firm and said that numbers and data are actually second in toughness? You did say you were tough. Did you believe it? Have you improved in those areas? Are those the areas you think maybe they will put you over the top? I think if, if they were to um, go with me, I think that would, would be the area that put me over the top. Um, obviously, Dwayne has an arm that you don't see a lot. And I have a pretty darn good arm, too, but um, I think my, my leadership and my intangibles really came alive this spring. Hey, Joe, being interchanged during the game, not having a series or you know maybe two plays at a time, is that easy, difficult? Uh, it's hard to get a rhythm when you do that, but um, it's really hard for these coaches to make it a fair competition, you know? Um, so I wasn't upset or anything with how it went, but it is hard to get a rhythm when that happens. And Joe, the next few days, a lot of people are going to be talking about this quarterback competition. Some people have opinions on one way or the other. Um, people know that you might be considering transferring. What was it like to just send people off on the walk-off touchdown yeah. the rain started? Yeah, I mean, I've heard for three years that I'm never going to play here. I'm going to end up transferring. I'm not good enough to play here. And I just sit back and put my nose to the grindstone and work. And that's what I've done for three years. And I, I think I've come a long way. Was it nice to leave the game, the stadium? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we wanted to get one last shot in there with DeMario, and DeMario beat him. How nice is it to at least have that option, because you're going to graduate this in June, to at least be able to dictate your own future? No, yeah, that was that was a big decision for me, because I, I had to really load up my class, my class over the last three semesters to do that, and that was something that I wanted to have on the table if it didn't work out here. Right. Joe, why don't you just all three play? Yeah, you know, that would be <laughs> ideal for, for everybody, but that's the nature of the quarterback position. You can only have one guy play, and um, you can be a really good quarterback but still sit on the bench. So that's the nature of the position. What did the quarterbacks, or the quarterbacks, the coaches tell you about the quarterback competition entering the spring game or just in the spring in general? Did they tell you guys it's even, or what? How did they describe um, We really it? haven't had conversations about it yet. Those conversations happen after spring when everybody can kind of just take take a step back and evaluate, but... When you're, when you're in spring, it's hard to do that because you're so focused on execution and writing the scripts and going hard every day in practice. Joe, you, now that practice is over, spring's over, are you content with the opportunity you were given? Do you think it was a fair shake? Yeah, I was, 
I was a little apprehensive about it in, the, in December, and Coach Meyer and Coach Day assured me that it would be even, and I was very happy. Um, with how they with how they handled it. I remember after your first spring game, you sat here. You played well, but you talked about wanting to improve your arm strength. A couple years now down the road, just how would you describe how much better of a passer you are? Yeah, I'm I'm so much better, and a lot of that is attributed to Coach Day. Uh, he really helps us with our footwork, and um, obviously arm strength grows as you as you grow um, physically. And so I got older, and my arm got stronger, but my footwork got a lot cleaner with Coach Day. Is that last throw like the, the example of that? Not to just have the touchdown, but the place the ball where you place it that part. Yeah, that that's really where I've really excelled my game the last two years is uh, putting the deep ball in the money. I can only throw like 50, 60 yards a couple years ago and I can throw pretty far now. Because of all you've put into this program, like all players do, how tough would it be to, to leave? It would be really hard for me to leave. I've put so much into this and I've put my heart and soul into it and if I were to leave it would be pretty devastating for me but um, at the same time I, I would understand how they went. Do you have to be the starter to stay? Um, that'll be a discussion in the meetings that we have. Um, I'm not sure yet, but again, I'm happy with how I played and I'm happy with how the situation was handled this spring. Regardless of the situation, do you feel like Last question having the whole right? quarterback controversy has that made you a better player? Elsa? Absolutely, it has. Um, it's really been tough on us just to kind of stay close as friends and as quarterbacks during this competition. I think I've grown as a person. I definitely think that the competition has brought out the best of me as a player. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate yeah. it.